Hello everyone, today we are going to study syllogisms. Now syllogisms is a very interesting topic to understand. But before we actually dive into this topic, it is important to understand its importance. Now from the CAD perspective, not a lot of questions are asked from syllogisms. But if we talk about exams such as ZAT and SNAP, questions have been asked from syllogisms in the past couple of years. And this is a very easy topic to understand and it is a very to easy topic to score. So that is why there is no reason for you to not score even questions from syllogisms comes in exams such as ZAT and SNAP. So let's dive into this topic. Now there are stages of solving syllogisms. The first one is statements and the second is conclusions. And in this particular video we are going to study only about the statements. Now, before getting into this, syllogisms can be solved in a number of ways. But the method that we are going to use is Venn diagrams. So we are going to focus on the Venn diagrams. Now let's get into statements. Statements, there are three important words when we talk about statements and syllogisms. And these are all, some and no. All as in all x are y some as in some x are y and no as in no x are y and if you understand these three statements half of our syllogisms is already done let's get into each one of them separately so the first one is all so the statement is all x are y so we will be making one diagram for it so first one that comes to my mind is x and y so here all x are y let's call it case 1 the second case we have is x y so here in case 2 also all x are y but the question is which diagram to draw when it we are actually solving these questions in the examination and to understand this we need to understand the concept of mod which stands for minimum overlapping diagram so as you can see the minimum overlapping diagram mod so whenever we are solving questions in exams we need to draw the mod diagram the minimum overlapping diagram now how to find one so as you can see here in case 1 and case 2 let's make a table for it so we have case 1 here case 2 here x here and y here so in case 1 100% of y 100% of x is being overlapped but only less than 100% of y is overlapped while in case 2 100% of x and 100% of y is overlapped so here our minimum overlapping diagram would be our mod would be case 1. So whenever in exam you encounter a statement all x are y we are going to draw the diagram of case 1 which is our minimum overlapping diagram. Great. Now let's look at another word sum. So here our statement is sum x are y. Let's start drawing Venn diagrams for this. So sum x are y so this would be our x this would be our y let's call this case 1 and the second common diagram for some x are y is y x and y okay great but there is are also more diagrams which we can draw for the statement some x are y what they could be this one even here some x are y and now i'm sure you must be thinking that this is also a diagram for all x are y and yes it is you are 100 percent correct if you say that but the question is is it also a diagram for some x are y and the answer is an astounding yes and why let's have a look at it now sum is justified in all those cases where you have one x common to y so now sum will be justified in all those cases where we have one x common to y and this is the minimum criteria 
and also our only criteria so there is no other criteria for sum and this is also our minimum criteria that we must have at least one x common to y let's have a look at it once again so here in case one at least one x is common to y in case two there is again at least one x common to y in case two and in case three once again one x will be common to y even though all of the x will be common to y in case 3 but the minimum criteria is also met for sum which is at least one x will be common to y and there will also be a case 4 when you talk about sum x or y and that would be this diagram even here at least one x will be common to y now our question is which is our minimum overlapping diagram let's have a look at it in case 1 less than 100% of x and less than 100% of y are overlapping in case 2 less than 100% of x but 100% of y is overlapping in case 3 we have x for 100% but y is less than 100% and in case 4 x and y both are at 100% so here our minimum overlapping diagram would be case 1 so whenever there is a statement of sum x or y, we are going to we are going to draw a diagram of case one, which is our mod. Great. Now let's look at the third statement, which is no x or y. Now the third statement is very easy because for no x or y, there is no minimum overlapping diagram. The diagram is very simple. There is x, here is y, and there is no overlapping. So this is the diagram for no x or y. Great. Now let's look at the special statement. This statement is some x are not y. So for this once again let's start drawing the Venn diagrams. So for this our case 1 would be some x are not y. So this would be our case 1. Because see, as we understood when we are talking about sum, at least one x should be common to y. But when we are talking about sum not, at least one x should not be common to y. Okay, so here in case 1, one x is at least there which is not common to y. Now, let's draw case 2 for this. Here, once again, there will be one x in case 2 which will not be common to y. And there is also a third one, which is this one, x and y. This will be our case 3. Now you must be thinking that what is the difference between case 3 and the statement we look at for no. Now the answer to this is that in case 3, the some part of overlapping is allowed. So when you talk about the no, the diagram is made like this there is a cross in between now this cross signifies that no overlapping is allowed but when we are talking about case 3 there is no cross this means some overlapping is allowed now what would be our mod for this special statement some x are not y the mod for that would be our case 3 because there is zero overlapping zero percent overlapping in case 3 that is why this will be our mod and this is how you will be solving for some x are not y whenever you see them in the exams great now this brings us to the end of this video and i'm sure all of you understand a lot about statements which is 50 percent of syllogisms hope to see you in the next video till then have a happy learning with edurev